hey you guys so it's me again welcome back to the vlog so we are all here it's about almost 2 30 where i'm here already loaded up on the bus we're getting ready to go we'll be heading out to tacoma in about another i'm gonna say about 20 minutes um but yeah i am very excited for this this is gonna be our biggest distribution yet um we're not doing it at the tacoma dome but we're doing it at this big car museum so i'm really excited to show you guys that too um so yeah i will check in with you guys as we get closer to the casino where we're going to be having dinner at um you'll get to see some of my friends and as we get ready to head to the hotel for the distribution and yeah everything else in between so i'll see you then It. We're here on the pass right now. It looks like we're at a stop. Um, I heard something about the pass was closed, but I haven't been told it whether or not we're gonna go back home or not. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. We're trying to put chains on the bus right now. Let's see how this goes. All right, so after almost an hour of stop, being stopped, we are finally moving. Uh, we got the chains on the on the bus, so let's see let's see how we do getting to the casino because I'm hungry and I didn't bring snacks. So I'll check in with you at the casino. Okay, so we finally finally got here to the casino. Oh, okay. I throw dinner. Uh, yep. <laughs> so I will see you inside. Okay, so we just got done having dinner. Uh, we're heading out towards the bus. So I will check in with you when we get to the hotel. <coughs> oh snap, it's raining. All right, we're here at the hotel right now. So we're just waiting to get our room keys and I'm gonna give you a tour of the room and then just call it a night. All right, I got into my room. I think I'm gonna take a shower and uh, just take give you a quick tour. Um, it's kind of a mess because I literally just tossed everything. But I got a. I was supposed to room with someone, but they ended up giving me my own room. I got a window view. But I'll call it a night, but I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is currently 6.30 in the morning. Uh, I just got done getting dressed. Um, I'm going to get ready to go get some breakfast and then just... Um, we have about two hours, so I think I might get some beating done in the meantime. So, yep. So, let's go get some breakfast because I am hungry. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know what all is in here, but uh, I wanted to save it for the video. Just, just see also. 
Got our napkin. Uh, some type of muffin. Uh, applesauce. Some peach yogurt. And an orange. So, it's not too bad. I was hoping that there'd be some breakfast sandwiches or something, but it's okay. It's free. So, I do, however, wish I would have brought some water. I don't know why I'm wearing this still. But, yeah, I'm gonna eat right now and, uh, I will see you when we get on the bus. All right, so it's almost 8.30. We got about another 15 more minutes. So I'm just gonna get ready and head onto the bus a little bit early. So I will see you then. I'm on the bus. I had to get on here quickly because uh, I had my other peacekeeper's jacket. Um, one of my friends was asking to borrow for the day. Uh, so yeah, I thought it was gonna be the last one on here. I'm literally the only one on here at the moment. Um, I think I see my friend Eddie. I don't know if he, well, oh yeah, there's Eddie. He's right there, I don't know. So, I'll vlog a little bit as we drive off. And once we get to, so we're not gonna be at the Tacoma Dome like I thought we were, we're gonna be at the LeMay Car Museum. So I'm really, really excited to see what that looks like. So I'll see you then. This place is wild. I heard this place has cars that aren't even on the market yet. Not to go see, hopefully they'll let us in. Ah. In my friend Mercedes. Yo. Let's take a look inside, huh? charge of helping serve with hospitality say hi for the camera so I will tune in with you if something fun happens okay so we've been here for about a little about two hours now still here in the cafe and um, not much action every all everything's happening outside but I'm supposed to be inside here which like I wish I would have known more about what I was supposed to do. They said that they were supposed to have someone relieve us. Because I kind of want to be out there. All my friends are out there. But it's okay. I'm not going to compl complain too much. I'm being useful. So um, We're supposed to have a cultural exchange tonight. Which will be fun. So I'll definitely shoot that for you guys. So I'll check in with you later. Alright. They let me switch out. So I'm here. going to try to find something to do. I have someone take over my place in the cafe. We have some of our tribal drummers. All right. 
right and we're at it we're right now getting started All right. Okay, so they have me doing traffic duty right now. So I got my vest on. Here, just directing traffic. So okay. I will see you. Later. Today was a long day. Getting a little hangry, but uh, they finally brought us some food, so I'm about to eat. All right, so we just got done right now. Um, we're all loaded up on the bus, and we. We're gonna just get ready for dinner tonight. So I'm excited to show you guys. Okay, so we're here at the hotel room. We're just chilling out right now. Uh, nothing going on until about 10 after six and then we'll head out back on the bus and then we'll head out for dinner. And then uh, I think they're supposed to do some cultural stuff too for today or for tonight. So I will check in with you once we get to wherever it is we're having dinner and we'll go from there. Are they, like I said, are they going to be leaving anytime soon? Or? Well, in like an hour. There's so much you can make with the rest of the It looks like it's another car museum. Oh, I smell curry or some kind of Indian food. Ways at some point 
from each other. Like tonight, we're gonna part ways and go all back to where our homes are. But what the song says is that, don't be sad because we'll see you again, so be joyful. For those who don't know, 
When we have a uh, ceremony, you are judged not because of what you don't do, but what you get. And then we, we lay out everything. And so when I see my elders and stuff buy things, they say, hey, I can't wait to give this to somebody. Somebody's going to love this. And so we put it on a long, long uh, path of uh, fabric, and we call that a highway. And then we say, you know, it'll be toys, it'll be anything that anybody needs. And then when it's time for us to celebrate towards the end of our ceremony, we open that highway for everybody. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing once we get out there. So when we go out there, we have to keep that good mind. We have to keep that good heart. Because you know what? All this stuff we're doing is going to heal us. The Creator promised us that. If we walk in the way that we're supposed to do, even death will not keep us from doing what's good for our people. I'm humbled before all of you guys. I am a descendant of Elepama from Yakima Nation. I am a descendant of Ten Bear from the Namana Nation, which is a, a Comanche Nation in Oklahoma. I am just the two tribes, and I just want to bring this to my brothers and sisters here. When you get up, wash your face, get ready. Even if you don't want to, get out the door and do something. And there's times I'm, I'm like, I hear her, and I said, you're right. And she says, in this hard times, don't. And I'm not saying this to hurt anybody's feelings, because my grandma used to always lecture me. When I wake up, she goes, what do you want to be if you die and you come, yeah, you get to come back? What are you going to tell the Creator? And I said, I'm going to be an Indian woman. She goes, that's right. Every morning she told me that. What are you going to be when you wake up? I'm going to be Indian. What are you proud of? I'm an Indian woman. So, with that said, she used to also tell me, love all brown people. Love your brother. Don't, don't give chiapos. Don't let them laugh at you by fighting amongst yourselves. That's what they think is funny. Keep doing what you gotta do, help each other up. <laughs> but I wanted to say, I'm really glad to be here. I wanna first say thank you to these ancestors of this land. We're on Indian land, right? I'm very thankful that I'm here. And you know what I know tonight? Your ancestors are dancing and are happy. That's what we are here for. So I hope generations from now, my great grandchildren are doing the same work we're doing today. It's Sunday morning. I am just getting all my stuff ready to load onto the bus and we are heading home. So this was a really good weekend. I'm so happy. I can't wait to see what we start doing in the next few weeks. The Peacekeeper experience has just been one that has really changed my life in more ways than one. So I, I, continue, I intend to do this as much as possible, helping out how I can. And um, I'm just really looking forward to seeing how much we grow as a community, how much we grow as an organization, um, and just seeing the lives that we touch and seeing the fruit that produces from that. So I still got to pack all my stuff. I had a mini heart attack. I thought I lost my GoPro and I'm like, man, I can't afford not to, I can't afford to lose this camera. So yeah, um, but it was a go overall good experience. I got to see friends. I got to hang out with my Nana, my sister Tashina. Um, we just got to really talk, deep talk. And um, hopefully from that, we come up with resolve on certain issues, on certain topics. Um, but yeah, overall, really good weekend. And I look forward to doing it again. So I'll see you on the bus. All right, we're on the bus. Just 
Okay, so I just got in my car right now. Everybody's leaving. Um, I'm gonna meet up with my mom to go have lunch with her at Miner's. So we'll get to go, you get to go with me on my lunch date. So. All right, so we're here at Miner's, and this is one of my favorite things about coming here is just seeing the beadwork, and just seeing the overall view. So I'll see you when we get ready to eat. What's that? You never see my camera? It's my mama. I got this the day I got my stimulus. Remember? Oh! Yeah. This looks really good. Nine. We eat um, prayer from nine to nine thirty. I'm ready to eat. All right. It is currently Sunday night, and I am just in my room. Uh, got some laundry done. I'm just chilling out. Um, I was watching Spirited Away, so I got really inspired to draw a scene from the movie. Um. Today I just really felt like watching uh, some Studio Ghibli films. I'm a, I really love uh, Hayao Miyazaki. He's one of my favorite. I don't really like anime. I mean, I do, but I don't. But Hayao Miyazaki has probably the best quality in, um, in Japanese film that I really like. You got to see people, you got to see food, you got to travel with me. And um, from what I understand, we're not gonna be doing any out of town distributions for a while. Um, I don't know when we're gonna do another one, but we'll be doing stuff at home. So I'll definitely vlog that. But uh, if you like videos like this and wanna continue seeing videos like this, be sure to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Have a good evening.